Hello, my very most beautiful Pisces. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my loves, we are going to be doing your last week of June weekly reading. It is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open and everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding from my very most beautiful Pisces, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may we please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Pisces energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what is going on for you. So we are going to pull one of these oracle cards for each your reading or for your energy and one for them as well as a general kind of overall energy or theme. So let's take a look and see what is going on for you. I love you. Let's see what's at the bottom. My life is not together at all. Let's see. So let's see what's going on with that, Pisces. The Nine of Cups. So I do feel like there's somebody here that you have a lot of emotion for. The Nine of Cups, that is your energy. So I feel like you're really, really feeling it, Pisces. Um, and the Nine of Cups can also be feeling very satisfied, very content. It can also be an energy of like a wish, having a wish. The Page of Cups. There could be something new that you guys are starting here. Um, that you guys are, you know, it, it feels like you guys could be falling pretty quickly for somebody here. Or getting back, let me see, getting back to a very, wow. Yeah, some of you guys, this could be a past person. That's why I was feeling that. And I was, you know, you guys getting back to a very um, emotional place very quickly. So I feel like, if, especially if you guys have been in separation, the Three of Cups can be a reunion, a coming back together. The Page of Cups, an expression of emotion and apology. This could have been something that you guys have been wishing for, okay? And I feel like you guys are just feeling, you know, feeling all of the love, feeling very like kind of over the moon right now and with that energy at the bottom of the deck my life is not together at all I feel like some of you guys could have been trying to let go or trying to move on from this person so this is like it's showing up as a wish fulfillment wow the two of cups just fell out as well so wow you you know what you guys had hope I feel like there was a part of you guys that knew that this person was going to be back you see this person as your person, as your perfect match. You know the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups right next together? That means the Five of Cups. I feel like you guys have been grieving. I feel like you guys have been very hurt and very disappointed, especially with that my life is not together at all. It's like you felt um, like even though you were trying to, how do I want to put it? Even though you guys were living your life and trying your best to just handle things and move forward, I feel like you guys were having a very difficult time. Some of you guys were really grieving. And th this is a very, very... Um, a very, very beautiful kind of change in energy here. So some kind of wish coming in, some kind of expression of emotion, some kind of an apology here. The Three of Cups, some kind of reunion, Two of Cups, you know, some really beautiful conversation. In the in the traditional Rider weight deck, on the Two of Cups, there is the Staff of Hermes. So sometimes to me that can talk about just having a, a really beautiful exchange, a really beautiful, you know, communication. I feel like you guys could be having some really positive um, communication between you and this person. So this looks could look like hanging out, spending time together, and just really talking things through. Yeah, the Three of Swords, you were really hurting. You were really hurting. And the Six of Swords, and trying your best to move past it, trying your best to move forward. So there is a huge shift in energy here. This is really beautiful. We're going to take a look at what their energy is towards you. So I'm going to leave your card here, and we're going to go ahead and see what card they have. Show me the person that Pisces is dealing with in this situation. Wow, I hope you can forgive me. So yeah, we see over here them coming in with their apology with the Page of Cups here and recognizing where they hurt you, recognizing where, you know, there's things that you guys need to get through. And I feel like a lot of really beautiful conversation over here, they're really wanting your forgiveness. I hope you can forgive me. Let's use another deck actually for their energy. So we're going to look at what's going on in their energy now towards you. 
the justice card fell out. Wow, what a beautiful confirmation. So they hope you can forgive me, the justice card, wanting to um, make things right with you, wanting to heal things, wanting to just make things right. I love this. The high priest, it's called the high priest in this deck, but it's the Hierophant. Um, this is the witch's tarot. So yeah, ready to come in. Like I've learned some major lessons, two major arcanas out of two cards. So I've learned some major lessons. I want to make things right with you. I want to express my, you know, how I feel to you. I'm ready to commit to this, to commit to making things right with you. The two of swords. And the hangman. So three major arcanas out of four cards. So I do, I feel like there could have been a stagnant kind of a space in time. How do I want to put it? Like a time and space where you guys weren't in communication, where things were very stagnant. And it was this person having to really look within and figure some things out with the two of swords. And the hangman having a total change in perspective. And the hangman is hanging himself here. He's hanging himself from the tree of wisdom. And he's doing it on purpose in order for him to gain clarity, in order for him to gain enlightenment. And this can be a change in perspective. So there's something about this no communication and this this breakup this separation that caused this person to see things differently to have a change in perspective to figure some things out to gain that clarity and that enlightenment the page of wands so ready to take a step in a new direction ready to have a brand new beginning and the Ten of Cups, wow, lots of your energy, Pisces. You got the Hangman, which is your energy, Ten of Cups, which is your energy as well, and the Nine of Cups. So you're all over this reading. Um, so I do feel like you guys are in a position of power with that energy. And I also feel like it's just you are really occupying their energy as well. So they want your forgiveness. They are really committed to making things right with you here, Pisces. So we are going to take a look at what you don't see coming, what your biggest challenges, and some advice. So what is the biggest challenge in this situation for Pisces? What is the biggest challenge in this situation for Pisces? The two of wands. And the queen of cups. I feel like being able to leave some of those more difficult emotions behind. Not really leave them behind, but like work through them process them let them go go in a new direction i feel like this is somebody that you guys have been really missing and that has been a challenge you trying to just move forward has been a challenge i feel like this is this is a major shift this is a major wish for you guys because you guys it's been challenging just missing them what doesn't pisces see coming in this situation we have the King of Pentacles. While wow, this person is coming in um, with a very, very serious energy, there's a lot of long-term potential here. Wanting to bring back some st stability to the connection. What advice do we have for Pisces? Any advice? The Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is it is the end. Tens are completion. And sometimes, you know, we can when we want reconciliations, we forget how much work they can be. You know, we want somebody and we think about that, but, you know, they take a lot of open, honest communication. They take a lot of forgiveness. They take a level of vulnerability with one another. So I feel like this is just a reminder that, um, you know, that it is going to be worked, that there is going to be things that need to be worked through, healed and processed, talked about, and not to forget that, to, you know, kind of keep, be realistic about how, you know, have realistic expectations. That's a good way to put it. But overall, I really do like this. I think this person is really committed to trying to make things right with you. I feel like they have very good intentions. I feel like they have had a shift in perspective. So there has definitely been um, some change within the situation. And I feel like this is what you've been wishing for, Pisces. But this is what I have for you guys. So if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.